Welcome back to Talk of the Town. We are joined by Jim Scully here with Annie O's Restaurant, Annie O's Kitchen. Yes. It's so good to have you here. Thank you. So it's always so refreshing to have a natural food source, natural place where you can you can go and really trust what you're eating. Tell us a little bit about the Annie O's brand. Uh, it is, we are a sustainable, all-natural, southern-inspired restaurant. Like those two things, all-natural, and it doesn't always seem to go with southern, you know? <laughs> it, it's not. That's why we call ourselves southern-inspired. Yeah. Uh, we take traditional southern dishes. We use the best ingredients available to us with grass-fed beef, pastured pork, free-range chicken, wild-caught domestic seafood, and organic produce. And we tone back the butters and the heavy fats and everything yeah. and we make it for the modern modern age now people are both health conscious and at the same time we let the flavors come through of the meats and seafood and, and produce that we use yes absolutely and when they're all natural they have a very distinct and different flavor exactly it's real mm -hmm. real real flavors and so you know the, there's a craze the farm to table thing that's out there a lot and nothing against the farm to table thing but let's talk a little bit about the difference between farm to table and all natural farm to table and sustainable well farm to table has been defined as using local vendors your local uh, farms uh, ranchers maybe within a 300 mile radius and staying focused on that. All natural is really just about using a classified uh, uh, beef, pork, or chicken uh, product that is all about the flavor, about the, uh, the process of uh, humane, yeah, how humanely it, treated what animals. What happens when, before it gets to the table, right? Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have to be within a certain area. Uh, I spent about three months before opening a restaurant taste testing products throughout the U.S. of different breeds of pig, uh, uh, chicken, seafood, everything. And my selection was based upon flavor profile. So just as there is different flavors between different cuts of meat, there is also different flavor profiles be between different uh, grass-fed beefs. Not all grass-fed beefs taste the same. Not right. all pasture pork tastes the same. So, so you really uh, hand-selected all of these things, and they're sustainable, and they're all natural. I mean, that's and, a wonderful And we look at farms, you know. Yeah. I mean, our, my, my beef comes from a local farm out of Savannah called Hunter Cattle Company. They're a grass-fed, grass-finished beef farm. They specialize in it. They actually take the earthiness that most people are familiar with grass-fed beef, grass-finished beef, and uh, feed them different types of grass throughout their life span to get oh, different cool. flavors. Uh, our, our pork that we use is pastured pork, it comes from Compar Farms out of Wisconsin. So it's it like is, it's raised with the flavor in mind. Right. That's exactly. genius. You know, our, our pork is a red ha is a Duroc breed. It's a red haired red meat pig. So it falls far different than normal uh, Berkshire or something else that sure. people are known locally for. And so you've built your menu around the flavor of what you're bringing well, we brought this, the ingredients in. Our menu yeah. is built around Southern-inspired dishes that are traditional recipes, but we've cleaned them up. We've taken a lot of the fats away and everything. Sure, sure. And so I hear that you all have the best chicken salad. Best chicken? Best chicken. Best chicken. Best fried chicken. Fried but chicken. But also that converts to our use <laughs> of free-range fresh chicken. Our chicken's never frozen. It's butchered the day before it comes to me, and we get deliveries three times a week. So we always have the freshest chicken available. And the preparation, although it's fried chicken, people think it's bad for you. There's really nothing bad for you when it comes to cooking and preparation. It's when you go in excess. Anything mm, excess sure. is gonna be bad for sure. you. So the fried chicken is lightly seasoned with a, uh, with a, a dusting of flour and then deep fried and brought to your table. But it's Delicious. very juicy if you are a uh, if you're opposed to white meat because you think it's dry, I guarantee you'll love our you breast. It's it. juicy and everything. You gotta try mm -hmm. it. Now you have something, <clears throat> excuse me, really cool, a text club. Yes. VIP text club where you can get deals. Tell yeah. us a little it's bit about that. It's our VIP text club. It is the only one that I know of on the island available. It is immediate notification of specials that we got going on. We have uh, 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 pricing offers available come out two, three times a week. We have, uh, it's a great way to get, keep informed about what's going on at the restaurant with monthly specials 
as well as daily specials yeah. and, and uh, just trusting in what you know I wonder what Annie's has going on today mm -hmm. that you can find out being a member of that VIP club exactly you all have such a gem there in Annie's here right here on the island <coughs> so Annie O's kitchen Jim Scully thank you so much for being with us make sure you join that VIP text club and we will be right back with more talk of the town